Blackpool, one of the 10 most popular tourist spots in the world. Last summer, the BBC was granted exclusive access to the region's ambulance crews and to Blackpool Victoria's hospital, one of the busiest in the country. Six months later, we're back to see how our Blackpool medics cope with the different challenges that winter brings. The seasonal calm is shattered by the sound of sirens. Paramedic Sue Butler Davies is speeding to the aid of a possible stroke victim. Ambulance service. I believe her is a lady possibly had a stroke upstairs on the bus. She can't talk. Her mouth has gone down. We're on our way to North Shore in Blackpool. She's at the other end of the promenade to somebody who's collapsed on a bus, uh, possibly a, a CVA, a stroke. A tourist has been taken ill on a pensioner's outing. Ladies, upstairs. Upstairs? Okay. Paramedic Steve Fuller assesses the situation. Judith Smalley has lost sensation down her left side, and her heart is racing at 140 beats per minute. Can you manage to move your left knee up toward your chin? Okay, how about your right knee? Manage to move your right knee. That's okay. Can you be able to walk over? Can you manage to... that off? Yeah, we'll take this off. Just take it off for a minute. All right, All right darling. If this is a stroke, the first hour is absolutely crucial, okay. so the team need to get Judith into A&E as quickly as possible. Any minute to pull me away? OK, lovely. OK, sweet. That's it. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's doing good for you. The symptoms could be a warning sign for Judith. There is the possibility of further attacking complications. She'll need constant monitoring. 